What's up guys, and do I have a video for you today? So the other day when I was out filming my video, uh, which is right here, which I'll pop on the screen right now, and if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I hit a bunch of stores in it, but there was one store I hit which I did not show off in the video, and for a good reason. And before I do any more talking, I'll just show you the clip. All right, so we are just walked into La Penico, and there's some stuffed animals here, and then below it is this. <laughs> $75 for tens. We're gonna pick that up for sure. So that is right guys. I did pick up this massive box Which is technically a Costco Pokemon box and you can see my ringlet flicking in there But it is technically a Costco Pokemon box But I found it at a store called the Penico and I'll explain that in a little bit, but check this out guys I can't even show it off on the little cam I gotta show it up up here and uh, you can't even see me behind the box. That's how big it is So there's four tins in here a um, Eternius I believe is right here Tyranitar Eevee or Pikachu. I think it's Eevee and then down here if I can get my hand out of the way Pikachu So today we're gonna be cracking into this massive Costco Pokemon box and seeing what we can get All right guys So I did take all the tins out of the package already just because it was it's too massive to fit on the little cam here the hand cam so I guess I'll just go in the order I kind of have them stacked up here. So we'll start with the Pikachu tin, then we'll go to uh, Eternius, Eevee, and then we'll end with Tyranitar because it's the only uh, different tin out of the three. All right, so let's start cracking into these tins. And they are actually wrapped a little bit differently than the other tins, or maybe it's just these ones. They have a little bit of a full, uh, a full plastic wrap to them, while the Battle Styles tin, which I'm pretty sure has most of the Battle Styles in it, uh, it comes wrapped in just like a little plastic sleeve. It's not a big deal, but it is something to note. Oh no! I think these are updated. Guys, I have no clue what's in here, but I'm pretty sure these are the updated tins. I think they are. All right, I'll just show the promos off pretty quick in here. Uh, they're not nothing too special, but I think what... Oh no way! Dude! These packs are insane! Two Evolving Skies, two Brilliant, and one Fusion. What? Dude, that's nuts. I guess instead of, actually, instead of opening these all up at once, I'm just gonna take all the packs out and we can see what's in them first. All right, so cracking into Eternius here. I hope it's the same. I'm so happy, guys. I kind of thought we would be getting like some older packs, like Battle Styles and like Sword and Shield Base, which if I'm going to be completely honest with you, not really my favorite. I would have, i rather the packs that we are getting right now. But show off the Eternius promo first in there. Pretty nice, you can see my face in the reflection. And then again, look at the packs. Two Evolving, two Brilliant, one Fusion. This, this is nuts. And we have another one of these tins to go. And that's gonna be our Eevee tin right here if my knife can get it open. Okay. Let's crack into this one. I know it's a little tight to get these big tins on the camera and I'll kind of try to keep the packs somewhat in it too. And okay, it, again, it's the same. So here is the Eevee promo in there again too. Three pretty nice promos. And now this does have me thinking guys that in the Battle Styles box, which is typically Battle Styles, I know recently they updated it to be a completely different set of packs. And I'm assuming they did it in this one too because all the other tins are updated. So hopefully this one's updated too, but let, let's get into it. All right, last box here. And as you can see the wrapping on it is a little bit different. I think these were actually newer tins or this one is newer of the three and you guys can correct me on that but I'm pretty sure this one actually came out after and then they have updated it since which they have oh my gosh guys so there's gonna be two fusion two evolving and one chilling so in total here we're gonna have what eight evolving skies packs Oh my god, dude, this pack lineup is nuts. Look at all those too. Oh, I love a thick stack of packs. All right, so I kind of have them stacked in the order I want to go in. So there's 20 packs in total, and I am actually right on the count this time other than the uh, the rare pack video where I was actually completely wrong. I said 20 packs, but it was actually 18. I don't know how I miscounted, but uh, somehow I managed to do that. So anyways, let's get into this one. And there are 20 packs today, so I'm debating not doing the card trick, but we'll do it for the first couple and see what we get. And we're going to have a whale... Oh, Ooh, a whale ring non hollow. Okay, and now we're gonna get on to fusion strike and we're going to have one two three four five packs of it here uh, a couple of the big hitters in this one are going to be that Gengar, and then I believe, well I actually do have the Genesec now, so I'm not even looking for that one anymore, so I guess Mew is kind of our next big chase card in this set. And just to kind of give you guys a better understanding of how I got this, because I feel like the intro didn't show it too, too well. Um, in my mall, there's a store called Lepenico, which is basically like a wholesale uh, distribution store, similar to Costco, but basically they get Costco stuff after they kind of can't sell it anymore from my understanding so you'll get a lot of cards in there or, um, I guess occasionally they'll get some Pokemon stuff like some of the Costco boxes that just didn't sell now it's a miracle how this one didn't sell because checking in the packs into it this is this is crazy like it's a, it's a completely updated tin lineup 
So we're getting all these new cool modern sets and our first good code card of the day. And you know what I'm saying guys, we could get something, something juicy in here. And a lot of the cards in this set I feel like are pretty good. These more VMAX oriented sets with the alternate arts for the VMAXs I feel like are actually a lot cooler than these. Oh, okay, okay, some T-Tar action. We like our T-Tars. Set that to the back. Actually, I, I didn't know T-Tar was in Fusion Strike. That's a little odd. I knew he was in Battle Styles, but that's kind of weird. I didn't know he was in Fusion Strike. I, I guess I maybe just haven't looked at the card list for this set enough, and that's probably uh, probably on me, but you know, I didn't think T-Tar was in the set. So yeah, I guess, uh, I guess we learn something every day. All right, cracking into this next one here. And yeah, let me know if you guys have found any kind of crazy card stores or cards uh, in kind of places they shouldn't be in the comments. I like that Swampert card there. Because it seems like recently I've just had a crazy luck with just stumbling across cards like in places they shouldn't have been. Like uh, in the convenience store video, probably like one of my more early videos in the channel's life. But, and now this Lepenica one too. I mean like, dude, like it just keeps coming and coming and coming. So... Yeah, I, I guess I just gotta keep my eyes peeled, then we'll keep finding these cool cards, and especially a set like this, where it's these tins that are- No! I'm gonna, I'm gonna swear again! No way! No way! What? The Golden Flaffy? Dude! I'll pop the price on screen probably. I don't know how much this one goes for. It might be a lot, it might not be a lot, but like, ow, oh man, it's a gold card. Who cares? It's a gold card! Dude, this is nuts. Yeah, check that one out there, guys. I definitely gotta sleeve this one up. I know I didn't sleeve the, uh, the T-Tar up, but, uh, these textured gold cards definitely get the sleeve treatment. And, uh, I'm thinking about starting something on the channel called the Emergency Top Loader, which I'm gonna keep off to the side just in case events like this happen. And, uh, clearly I should've had it today, because we need it. Alright, on to the next set here. So we're gonna get into Brilliant Stars. And this one has a Trainer Gallery. And I know I mention this every time we open up Trainer Gallery sets, but it... It just makes me feel a little bit better when we get code cards like that. So, anyways, you know, we could still get full arts in here. You never know. So, yeah, Friends and Galar, Weavile, Fracture, and there is the Haxorus in this set. It's just a hollow, but, you know, Haxorus is one of my favorite Pokemon, so I wouldn't actually mind getting a hollow in here. Oh, you speak of Trainer Gallery and you shall get it. Houndoom Trainer Gallery card. Pretty nice one there. I know Tristan is collecting this set. I'm pretty sure he has Houndoom. So I don't think I have to give this one to him, but uh, nice card to add to the collection nonetheless. Honestly, guys, my favorite part of the video is when the back wall starts to stack up with hits. I think you guys know that. But uh, yeah, I mean, we have a bunch of packs left and basically a full ETB of Evolving Skies still to go through. So I mean, it just gets better and better and better. V-Star Marker, no one cares about the V-Star Marker. Let's get those out of the sets. And the packs are kind of blowing in the background, but we'll keep going. We'll keep going nonetheless. Milk Creamy, Cub Chew, we have a Dedenne, a Reverse Hollow is a Tropius. Ooh, everyone loves Tropius. And then a Grim Snarl. On to the last three of Brilliant Stars. Actually, I lied, last four of Brilliant Stars. Jeez Louise, we have just so many packs to go through. These tins are just ridiculous. And clearly Costco has just become the you know, conglomerate for cool Pokemon now. I mean, I hit a banger there the other day with, uh, I guess not the other day, it's been a bit now, but it, with those Evolving Skies ETBs with the tins on the side, which also had more Evolving Skies in it. So in total, you're paying, I think it was like 55 bucks for 10 Evolving Skies packs, which like, can you go wrong with that? Oh, the Mimikyu V. We do like to see that. They're not the full art. And I know in this set, there is going to be a actual trainer gallery of him. So that one is kind of, uh, I feel like the more desired Mimikyu, but uh, nonetheless, we'll never turn down a card. Right, couple more brilliant stars to go before we get to kind of the meat of the box. And it's so awesome that all of these bought all of these tins had uh, evolving skies in them, because like, dude, that's awesome. I, I probably the most desired set out of Sword and Shield. So you know, we're just we're just gonna keep motoring through these packs. And again, yeah, we all saw the white coat card. Yeah, we all know there is still the option for not a trainer gallery in this set, but a Heatran to go along with it. All right, two more brilliant stars to go. I'm gonna save Arceus to the last. We're gonna save Arceus. And do you call him Arceus or Arceus? I know there's some debate about that one. I've been kind of bending and calling him Arceus recently, but when I grew up, it was always Ar like Arceus, but it seems like Arceus has become the preferred name of the Pokemon, so 
I guess people have just kind of been running with that. For me personally, I just think, uh, I don't know, Arceus just kind of rolls off the tongue better. Oh, oh, I'm just skipping cards here. Okay, so Jolteon, and then behind that, oh, nice, Kingler VMAX. We got a VMAX and a Trainer Gallery in the same set, the double hitter. Now, just hear me out on this one, guys. I know I saved the Evolving Skies to the end, and I think, hopefully, I'm gonna kind of speak this into existence. I think we have an alternate art in there today. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have one. If you saw the first Costco video, you know we pulled an alternate art Duraludon. So I'm thinking today we can kind of repeat that and get something, you know, of similar stature in those packs. I wouldn't mind another Rayquaza, I really wouldn't. And if you guys saw the video with uh, me opening the Evolutions and the Evolving Skies, again, you know that I, ooh, another Honchkrow V. You know that I did pull the Rayquaza Full Art card. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. Eight packs of Evolving, if I did my math right this time. I know clearly I've been lacking in that department recently. Yes, eight Evolving Skies packs. Actually, it's nice, we get two of every artwork here. So I think how we're going to do this, I'm going to save Umbreon to last, and I think you guys know why. I'm not going to say why. I'm not going to say why, but I think we all know why I'm saving it. All right, all right, all right. Sylveon, and there is a Sylveon alternate art in here. Actually, with this set, all of the full art, or not the full arts, the pack arts actually do have, I believe, alternate arts in this set. And again, you can correct me, but I'm 90% sure I'm right on this one. So, and if you guys saw by the code card, we are dealing with the reprint Evolving Skies, which, I don't know, could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. I know I've had good hits out of both, so it's not like they took them out of here, I'll promise you that, even though this regular rare Stoutland does not prove my point, but I can assure you there's good hits in here. So yeah, cracking into the final pack here, and, uh, or not the final, oh my gosh, I am getting sleepy today, guys. Not the final pack, we got way more packs to go. We're just getting started here with the Evolving Skies, so we're gonna motor through here. And guys, let me know in the comments what your favorite card of Evolving Skies is. I mean, I definitely, for me, I think, I'm just skipping cards here, but I think, okay. Is it a Rayquaza VMAX? It is a Glaceon VMAX. Okay, we take those. We like our evolutions around here. And especially the textured cards. No one will ever, I think, turn down a textured card. Even if it's that Kingdra back there. The Kingdra VMAX, a little bit, uh, a tad goofy, I would say. But uh, nonetheless, an interesting, interesting card. And we'll always take textured cards around here. Yeah, I think in terms of favorite cards for me, I have to say for Evolving Skies, um, even ignoring alternate arts, the Rayquaza VMAX card is really nice. I like just the regular one too. I mean, the alternate art, we're all gonna know. We love that card, but uh, some of us don't have the, the pocket cash to go out and throw around to get it. Smeargle regular rare there. But yeah, I mean, like, there's a lot of cool cards in this set. I definitely understand why this set uh, took over the market and kind of became the dominant set and um, how people just kind of bought it up and why the prices went sky high on it. And I've heard whispers, I've heard whispers that there is going to be another reprint of this set. Now again, nothing is for sure, but we're all kind of hoping it's right, because it would be awesome to see some of these Evolving Skies packs back on the shelf again. So yeah, I mean like, it, it's just one of those things that it's, I think based for reprints, if you guys wanted a little bit of uh, knowledge on how they're kind of picked out, in terms of like, the competitive scene, I know the later packs in Sword and Shield are still going to be meta relevant, or not meta relevant, like playable, I should say. So they're allowed to kind of keep playing with these old, uh, I guess, V cards, even when the EXs come out. So there's going to be a lot of reasons for players to still want to like buy these packs and still like try to play with these cards. So for us, it's going to be, oh, nice, Forges regular rare, or not regular rare, sorry, hollow rare. But yeah, there's going to be a lot more reason for them to keep trying to make this set. Just because of like how playable, I guess, V's and VMAXs and V stars are still gonna be. So I guess like this set and then sets after it, such as uh, Brilliant Stars, Lost Origins, Astral, just to name a few, are all gonna be sets that are highly likely to get reprinted. And also just because the value of them has been going up, 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 up. So more and more people probably want these at an accessible price point, which I mean, I cannot complain about just getting more cards at a cheaper price. I mean, no one can complain about that. But anyways, without me rambling about pack the Pokemon economy, we have two packs of Evolving Skies left. Um, I'm gonna make you guys pick right now, team left or team right, and uh, let's see which one of you guys wins. I'm gonna start off with team left right now, and I save the two Umbreons, because there's, you know, there's definitely a Moonbreon in here. Let's, let's be real, guys. If there's gonna be one, it's gonna be in the Umbreon pack art. So, 
starting off here, so if you are team, I honestly forget the side, but uh, uh, team left, team left. You already got a white code card though. So, I mean, you might have wanted to pick right. I think the right is the one that's gonna have our nice black code card to finish us off with. Emolga, we're gonna have a slack off. Glossa Flower, love disc. Fletchling Reverse Hollow, and then behind that, is going to be a shift tree non hollow. All right, guys, everyone loves our last pack magic on the channel, so I think today we're gonna need some of that. Now, the line of the cards at the back is nonetheless quite beautiful, but uh, it could always use one more friend, I think, in the end of the day. So that's what we're gonna try to give it in this one here. And uh, I'm hoping, oh, the white goat card. So I'm hoping that we can kind of give it a friend. And again, team right, this is all the money on the line here. You guys can be counting down here, seeing which one's gonna win. Gold Duck, we're gonna have a Woobat, Bagon, Scraggy, Drowsy, and then into a Burge Might, a Gold Duck Reverse Hollow, and then ending us off, with a Sharpedo non hollow. But, anyways, guys, that's been the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe, and hope you guys enjoyed me picking up this big Costco Pokemon box, and I'll see you in the next one.